A few weeks ago, we took a look at the Air 65, arguably the best flying tiny loop in the entire hobby. And that's for two reasons. One, because of this lightweight frame, and two, because of this efficient and well-tuned flight controller. But the Air 65 wasn't entirely perfect, and the biggest thing being that it required an external receiver to make this whole thing work. Well, Beta FPV heard our concern and is back with a new flight controller, this time a five in one. So let's open this up and see if it's right for you. Okay, so here it is, the Air Series 5-in-1 flight controller and ESC. And as you can see, this thing here is in a very small container, which makes sense because this thing is a small and lightweight flight controller. Now, the first thing I see here is a QR code to go to that website and to download the manual for this specific flight controller. And then immediately you're greeted by this flight controller right here. Really, really nice. Let's try to get this out. And it's in a foam protective pouch here. And then the next thing I see here is an antenna here. This looks like the VTX antenna with a UFL connector. Really small and lightweight. We've seen this before on the Air 65 series of drone. Next thing we have here is like a pouch with the actual antenna for the RX, some gummies and some screws here. Kind of interesting that the antenna for the receiver is not connected. Next you have the actual power leads on here. This is the BT 2.0 connector. And this is a redesign with a 90 degree turn on here so that it's easy to actually connect your battery while it's in the frame. Next, we have a harness here and this connects from the flight control to your computer. Uh, this is really important, so don't lose this right here. And in conjunction with this, you also have the actual adapter and that converts it from this type of connector to a USB-C and therefore you can connect this to the computer. Nothing else in the box. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this five in one. It's really amazing that you can have five things on this because back in the days, it was just everything was separate and the most you would see was like a three in one. It's amazing you have everything on this one board, guys. You have the actual flight controller, you have an OSD chip, you have your VTX, your receiver, and your ESC, everything. Technology has come a long way. Let's wait to see how much it actually weighs. All right, and it's showing four grams. Now on their website, they're showing that this is actually weighing 3.6 grams, which makes sense. This doesn't have the tenth on my scale here. So it does make sense that it says four, it just kind of rounds up to the next nearest grams. Now, the second thing I noticed here is how large these pads are on here. Now we have these motor pads, which connect to the ESC, and they're kind of large. Now it's no secret that working on these small drones can be a hassle. And the biggest thing is they're trying to solder these to the actual pads in here, but it's cool to see that we have really large pads on this flight control and ESC. Now, one thing you're gonna notice here is that this flight control does not have any motor plugs on here and actually no accommodations for that either. And that's for two reasons. Without those plugs, you actually save on the weight. And two, you have a better connection going from the actual ESC to your motors, giving you more performance in your drones. Now talking about motor performance in current flow, this does have a five amp ESC, which is more than adequate for a flight controller of this size. It's pretty impressive. And it does have the Blue J firmware flash to it. That's gonna give you the D300, D600 protocol, as well as RPM filtering. Now below here, you have these two pads here for your battery leads. Do you have the plus and minus? Now these aren't the largest. It's actually smaller than the actual motor pads, but you can saw this either from underneath or on top, depending on how you wanna actually install your leads to the flight controller. Pretty impressive. Now below that, you also have the actual interface. We talked about earlier, this cable right here to interface between your flight controller and your computer right here. So pretty nice on here. And this is not the standard USB-C connector in here and that saves on the weight, obviously. Now in the center here, you have your main processor for your actual flight controller. And they've gone with a G series processor. It's a little bit different than the F series, but this gives us the ability to have more performance and also gives us the ability to have more UATs on this flight controller opposed to say an F411 processor. So pretty impressive that it gone with this. This also gives you the performance equivalent to an F45 processor. So a really good compromise in the long run. Now on top here is kind of the star of the show and why we're talking about this five and one. And this is your Express LRS processor right here. So that's pretty impressive. To the left of it, you can see a little tiny hole and that is the actual hole to solder on your Express LRS antenna. Now on the bottom here, you have some more components, including this plug right here for your actual camera. Now on the top here, you did have the pads for it, but if you wanna plug it straight into your camera, you do have this port right here. We also seen this before on the Air 65 drone. Now to the right here, you have a UFL connection here for your VTX antenna, 
This thing is super, super light, and this is the uh, the right connector for a drone of this size. Now, the VTX on this is pretty impressive. It goes up to 400 milliwatts. That is pretty impressive, guys. Now, in the past, we were limited to around 200 milliwatts on some previous flight controllers, and 400 is really impressive. It's actually to the point, I've actually tested that on this drone right here, and I've had really good results just on 200 milliwatts, guys. Now, finally, the back here, you have some spare yours in here if you wanna add some additional accessories. As I said before, this is due to the fact that we've gone with a G processor that we have some extra yours on this overall flight controller. So guys, what do you think about this five in one? It's pretty impressive, guys. It's so small, so lightweight. And to have all this technology into this small little board here, this thing actually has a 16 megabytes memory on here as well. So you can do some data login that is also possible with this board. Now I do suspect that this whole flight control will be popular among tiny wood builders as well as racers alike, guys. Pretty impressive overall. Now, if you wanna see the processing power and how this thing here performs, I've done a full review on the Air 65 that features the same processor in this drone here. I'll leave that video linked right here so you can take a look at it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.